Assalamu alaikum guys, my name is Maruf from the Oak Tree Initiative um, and today I'm going to talk to you about uh, Mastering Arabic 1 by Jane Whitewick and Mahmoud Ghaffar and I'm basically going to do a book review and tell you whether this book and CD pack does what it says on the tin or whether you need to go and master Arabic elsewhere. Okay, so this is a book and CD pack. You want to make sure you get the right one, Mastering Arabic 1. Uh, be careful because there are some sellers who sell just the book by itself but you need the CD to be able to do the listening tasks as well. So Mastering Arabic 1 by Jane Whitewick and Mahmoud Ghaffar focuses on receptive skills, so listening and reading as well as conversational skills. Uh, there aren't very many other books that do this, they either focus on one or the other. The type of Arabic that is taught in this book is modern standard Arabic. Now this Arabic is used in the media and in the literature and it's used to avoid any kind of dialect issues amongst Arabs from different countries and it's the only form of, um, it's the only written variety of Arabic so other dialectal Arabic won't have a written form. Okay so we're going to split this book review into two parts. I'm going to start off with the perspective of the student first. Having studied the book myself um, I found it's a very easy book to follow, it's got step-by-step -step instructions and it teaches you to communicate functionally and it's presented in a very logical way, so language that you're most likely to come across in daily situations. Um, as a student you experience different language skills, so listening, reading, writing and speaking as well and you don't need to have any prior knowledge of Arabic to study this book because it's presented at a very, very basic level. It's a really interactive resource. It's suitable for all types of learners. So as you can see, it's got funny little illustrations in it throughout the book um, as a kind of visual aid to learning. It's also got lots of uh, listening activities in there for your auditory learners and it gets you actually practising your conversational skills right from Unit 1. So if you're anything like me, who learns by actually doing, rather than just looking and listening, then this is the resource for you. So it's really easy to follow. Not only is the Arabic kept simple, but the English is kept simple too. So from experience, I can tell you that I've studied Arabic books where they're written in such a complicated way that I've doubted my ability to speak English, let alone Arabic. A couple of limitations of this resource, uh, the main one being that uh, it's advertised as being a resource that you can use for self-study. I would say you're probably at a disadvantage, particularly with the conversation activities, if you do it by yourself. Um, having somebody to practice with and to throw different vocabulary at and learning from other people's mistakes is a really good way to learn and you can only get so far from practicing with your bedroom mirror. Um, also, it's really useful to have a teacher there to guide you through the book and to make sure that you're following it properly and most importantly that you're learning the Arabic correctly. Um, the book does have review sections but there's only so much feedback that a book can give you and teachers can share their personal experience and knowledge with you as well. Okay so from the perspective of a teacher I haven't personally taught this book to students but I have gathered feedback from people who have and they've mentioned that it's a very carefully crafted resource no part of it is unnecessary, so it's really important that you work through it as you're instructed to do so by the authors. Also, it's a type of resource that isn't burdensome on students, so as I mentioned before, it doesn't require you to memorise huge chunks of information, rather it teaches you to recognise simple sentence structures and vocabulary so that you can expand on the language as you become um, more experienced with it. Uh, the only kind of uh, negative comment that was given about the book was that it requires students to be engaged and willing to participate so you basically get out of it what you put into it uh, and that was basically the basis of my book review um, so overall I'd say the book is easy to use, it's accessible, uh, it's cheap you will by no means become a Muqassir by the end of it and it doesn't really focus on grammar but it will definitely allow you to speak functional Arabic within a few weeks of studying it so you can visit the Middle East countries with a newfound confidence. Just because of a few niggly picky flaws, I'm going to give it 4.5 out of 5. Um, so my name is Maruk uh, from the Oak Tree Initiative and you've been listening to a book review on Mastering Arabic 1 by Jane Whitewick and uh, Mahmoud Ghaffar. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please remember to join the Oak Tree Initiative on YouTube, Twitter and Facebook and also to join our mailing list on 
theoti.org for more exclusive content. Assalamu alaikum.